Hi, you guys. So, <clears throat> as with every prophetic dream, please be sure to take it to our Heavenly Father first to ensure that it is for you. And, of course, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to every single person who has subscribed. I love you guys so much, and I truly appreciate it. And don't forget, God loves you, and I love you as well. Um, this is the Stars Cartel podcast, so my voice is not going to match the video on the screen. In this dream, I had finally met someone, and I was very happy with them. And um, I wanted to take them home to meet um, my family and my friends. And when I took them home, y'all, I turned my back to greet someone or to go and talk to someone. And one of my family members, whom I didn't even expect her to be there, um, honestly, the person that it was, I thought she would be at her own house doing her own thing, but somehow she was there. And the family member whom house we were going to spend the night at, um, I was expecting her to be there alone. But anyways, this person tries to entice my spouse to sleep with them. And I noticed, okay, I was already a little on edge and I noticed. And once I noticed this, I started going off on everybody. Okay, you already know. <laughs> lost all control i was going off i was ready to fight and they started calling me crazy for going off on them y'all the ridiculousness of this dream like they really were trying to act like i was the one that was wrong and um i almost feel as though they were trying to make it seem like this is something that should be normal this is something that should be accept expected and accepted for them to do these kind of things. Who <laughs> which God is calling me to say, which is why we have to let people, some people we have to just let them go. Let them go. The Spirit is telling me, let them go. When you let go, don't let them back in because they are not going to do anything new. They are still up to their old tricks. So this dream is a warning for someone that whomever it is, God has told you to let go because they are holding you back from your destiny. They are holding you back from happiness. They are holding you back from joy. They have not changed. They will not change. They are still in that same space. It doesn't matter how much time has passed. Once you try to let them back in, they will put forth all the energy to ruin everything for you. And at the end of this dream, um, me and my spouse, we left and I left them behind. However, this is a warning for someone before you even do that. Just understand they have not changed. They will not change. Take your bit of happiness that God has blessed you with and let them go. Scripture God gives me comes from Jeremiah 49 and 23 concerning Damascus. Hamath and Arpad are covered with shame. They have heard bad news. Worried, they toss like the sea, which cannot rest. Damascus is weakened. She turns to flee. Panic has seized her. Distress and pangs take hold of her. Like those of a woman in travail, how can the city of glory be forsaken? The town of delight. But now her young men shall fall in her streets, and all her warriors shall be stilled. On that day, says the Lord of hosts, I will set fire to the wall of Damascus, and it shall devour the palaces of Benadad. So you guys, I feel like with this scripture, God is saying that these are the kind of things that the people whom have been mistreating you have been going through. They, like we said, okay, once God tells you to leave someone behind because they have been mistreating you or they have been doing you wrong, um, don't think that everything is going to be going easy for them. Don't think that they are going to be living a life of luxury or it's going to be a walk in the park for them. 
if they have been doing wrong, they are going to receive the back end of God's wrath because of what they have been doing. So you coming and, you know, showing them that you have been blessed all the while they have been distraught and just miss going through it y'all my cat is just wanting all the love right now while i'm doing this video Mwah. they have been going through it y'all so i said that before the day that you start receiving your blessings from god know that they have received his wrath they have begun to receive his wrath the moment that god gets you out of there you are receiving all of this joy all of this happiness and they are receiving everything that was due to them so don't think that you can come back with your happiness and your joy or whatever god has blessed you with and they are going to just be clapping for you no they have been going through it and like i said the person whom was trying to entice my spouse in this dream was someone whom I had known to be happily married. They had all kinds of wonderful things going on. So know that it wouldn't even be the same. God is telling me like, and not in a sense of, it wouldn't be the same as in drastically things have just been happening to them. Drastically things that they couldn't imagine everything that they have put up on you all the things that they have done to you are happening to them and it's happening to them worse so you coming back is not going to it's not going to be open arms it's not going to be joy it will be worse than it was at first it is going to be i don't even know how to say it it's like they would they have already been in a standpoint where they have set forth to go against you so god is saying why would you think that now they would be there with open arms and happy for you no they're not they don't want to see you do well seeing you do well was stressing them out at first god is saying seeing you do well was making them upset it was bothering them so if you're doing well now it is just going to make them even more furious it is just going to entice them and like i said in the dream yes i noticed what they were doing before anything happened yes i stopped everything yes i put an end to everything but why would you even want to put yourself through that why would you even want to go through it again god is saying i pulled you out don't go back don't look back just like he told um is it job's wife just like he told her don't look back and she turned into a pillar of salt. God has removed you from that. Let it go completely. Just let it go and move on and know that you will be happier. Know that you will be filled with joy and gladness that you just decided to let them have whatever it is that they wanted. Um, let it go and Accept the joy and the peace that God has blessed you with, okay? Heavenly Father, thank you for this dream. Thank you for this word. I pray that whomever it is for, that it reaches them. I pray with all my heart and soul that you will cover them, that you will give them peace, that you will give them assurance that they are on the correct journey, the correct path for their life, for their mission on this world, Lord. I pray that you will ensure that they are not missing out on anything they did not lose anything if anything they have gained and i pray with all my heart and soul that you will just ensure that everything they do is in your will lord in jesus name i pray amen thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe if you want remember that god loves you and i love you deuces